guys, today I am back with another video and it is going to be all about the Mandela Effect. This is like a conspiracy that loads of people have heard of but I thought I'd bring some new ones to the table um, so yeah if you want to be freaked out then carry on watching. First effect is about Mickey Mouse, okay? And Mickey Mouse had suspenders, I swear he had suspenders. I look now, no he doesn't. Shook, shook, mind blow. Number two is about the Wizard of Oz. The Wicked Witch of the West, when she tells the monkeys to fly, she goes, fly my pretties, fly! That line was never said. Like, what? I am such a big Wizard of Oz fan, and I can hear her in my mind going, fly my pretties, fly! And it's on like t-shirts and stuff as well. So, in the Michael Jackson song, Smooth Criminal, Smooth Criminal, he goes, you've been hit by, you've been struck by a smooth criminal. That's, that's what everyone knows as the line, okay, yeah? No, it's you've been hit by, you've been hit by a smooth criminal. And if you listen to loads of covers, it's you've been hit by, you've been struck by, a smooth criminal. Why would someone doing a cover change a lyric like that? This other lyric thing is quite well known but it um, applies to Queen so we are the champion. I absolutely love Queen and we are the champions is like the first song from them that I like literally learn all the lyrics to like word to word and I remember like sitting down and learning it and at the end it goes of the world, so it goes like, uh, no time for losers, cause we are the champions of the world. <laughs> world. Apparently that of the world at the end never happens and it's just, we are the champions. Like no, it doesn't sound right and I've listened to some of their live performances and in their live performances, they often say of the world in Cinderella, the fairy godmother goes bibbidi bobbidi boo and puts Cinderella in this lovely dress with a blue choker. No, it's black. I just don't see why, like, they would put a Disney princess with a like a black choker. It just seems far too like, like rockish. This next one messed me up. Like, what? So, Oreos, double stuffed Oreos. That's what they're called, that's what they've been called. Double stuffed, like how you'd spell it, S-T-U-F-F-E-D. No, they're double stuffed Oreos. Okay, if it was spelled S-T-U-F-F, -F, I would be like, that's that's normal. Like, yeah, I guess people just put on the... But no, it's spelled S-T-U-F, double stuff Oreos. This one is like really well known, but I want to include it because I feel like strongly affected by this, okay? Snow White, what is the famous line the Queen says in front of the mirror? Mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the fairest of them all? Wrong! It's magic mirror on the wall, who's the fairest one of all? I'm the biggest Disney fan and I can picture me sitting down as my three-year-old self in my snow white dress that I had. Mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the fairest of them all? Like, just what? And if you watch it in other languages, it translates as mirror, mirror. And in the original book, it's mirror, mirror. Next is about the Monopoly guy. Monopoly was like my favorite board game and it's still it. But the guy, he has a monocle. He has a monocle on his eye. I remember it like that. And now I look and he doesn't. And it's ruined Monopoly. Soon we're gonna look at it and it's like, you thought it was Piccadilly, but it's actually pickled onions. Like, no, what? Okay, the fruit of the loom is like a kind of, I don't know, clothing brand, I guess, like clothing mate. I remember the logo having a cornucopia, is that, that's what they're called? But no, the fruit of the loom logo has no cornucopia, it's just fruit. Um, sorry, what? Next, the movie Coraline is a Tim Burton film, yeah? Tim Burton has this really distinct style, like, from The Nightmare Before Christmas, and, like, 
it's Coraline is a timber and film. I remember this guy at the end of my road where I once lived. Um, <laughs> it's really formal. He gave me a copy of Coraline, and I don't know if it was I'm like a dodgy like copy or something, but it had two names at the top. The first one was Neil Gaiman because he was apparently the one who he was the one who like directed it and stuff. And the other one was Tim Burton. But no, it's not even a Tim Burton film. He has nothing to do with it. And like, I'm baffed, I'm absolutely baffed. Those are all of the Mandela effects. I tried to speak about ones that I am most shook by, um, and ones that kind of apply to me so I can really like, you know, engage with them, I guess. Like, because the Berenstein and Berenstain Bears, I know is huge, but I never read those books, I've never heard of them before, of all of this, so I didn't talk about them. But yeah, um, just to let you know, <laughs> I didn't, I forgot to say what the Mandela Effect was. I'm guessing most of you guys know, but it's basically where a bunch of false memories have been created, and people think that we've like slipped into another universe, or like CERN, which is the biggest machine, has messed with space and time and have changed stuff. So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did then be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to see more videos of me and I will see you in my next video. Bye! I feel like that was really weird.